Hi everyone, Dr. Chandra Shakran here. Today we are here to talk about mesothelioma. Mesothelioma occurs from the mesothelioid cells that line our pleural cavity, peritoneal cavity, or pericardial cavity and can occur in other places of the body. Most commonly 80 to 90% being the pleural cavity. This is an aggressive tumor that can be associated with asbestos exposure long term, along with various other occupational exposures such as ship mining, construction, working, or yard working or insulation type of materials. Once this, once somebody does have this, the most common findings can be shortness of breath, non-specific findings, dyspnea on exertion, chest pain, and diagnostic studies with any type of imaging can show pleural effusion. This is usually the first symptom that we see, um, pericardial effusions as well. On the CT scans, it can also find pleural thickening, which is when the visceral and the pleuroidal pleura have a lot of inflammation. When this is seen and picked up, a thoracentesis is performed and that fluid is then sampled and studied for different types of genes such as cytokeratin, 5-6, and calretinin. These can indicate to us that there is asbestos exposure that can have led to mesothelioma. We then need tissue biopsy, whether it's an open lung biopsy or VATS. Once this is diagnosed, it is treated immediately through radiation, chemotherapy, or immunotherapy. The time period usually can be, for median survival can be 12 to 18 months unless it's an epithelioid type, and that can have more favorable outcomes.